Hi, it's Matt from Go Green Auto. So I frequently get asked about brake rubbing noises from owners of uh, new EVs, well, new to them, and they're worried that their car has a problem. When you get your new EV, you will hear all sorts of new noises you've never heard before. The brakes will sound worse, and occasionally you'll hear fans and pumps kick in. And these aren't new noises, it's just that you haven't heard them before because there's no engine drowning out the noises. But in particular, the brake noise is something that does concern some new drivers as it is a noise they haven't heard before and is a new car to them, so they assume the worst and assume there's a problem. But it isn't a problem, it's normal. It's just that you couldn't hear it before and maybe before you used your brakes more so they were less noisy anyway. So let's explain what happens and get my Hyundai here up on the lift and I'll take the wheels off and show you how the brakes work. Brakes on an EV are absolutely no different to any other car and in fact they haven't changed well for forever really. Uh, we used to have drum brakes on cars, we've now got uh, disc brakes but the principle is still the same. So you have a brake disc, uh, if you're American you call these rotors, and you have a pair of brake pads down there which squeeze against this disc. So this is your caliper which holds the whole system together and you've got your pads there and they're being pushed by a piston inside this caliper. So when you push your brake pedal, your, it's a hydraulic system and you've got brake fluid in the line here, it pushes that piston in which squeeze the two pads against the disc and you slow down. The problem with EVs is you're not using your brakes much or hardly at all and cast iron discs corrode so they're nice and smooth and clean on this car because this is in uh, frequent use many times a day but if it was to rain in the morning this disc would have surface corrosion on it uh, and you'll notice that even if you just wash your car within an hour of washing your car your brake disc has gone from shiny silver like this to brown rust. Uh, but it's completely normal and your discs will always corrode and it's particularly worse if you're not using your car frequently. But this is all completely normal and with any ICE vehicle you will soon wear off this surface rust within a mile or so of driving. But with an EV you don't use your brakes much because you've obviously got an electric motor in here or if it's rear wheel drive at the back and you've got the regen braking effect so you're slowing down on the electric motor without applying your friction brakes or if you are applying your brakes you're braking much less and not uh, not putting so much force on the pads and the surface of the discs and as a result on an EV your brake discs will normally be in a poorer state I say poorer state it just means that they've got more um, rust corrosion and scoring on them that doesn't actually do it any harm it just is just because you're not wearing them down so much because if you're driving an EV properly you're doing the majority of your slowing down on the electric motor and of course if you've got an EV with very strong regen or adjustable regen like my Ionic here where it's got true one pedal driving you're hardly ever using the brakes the result of all of this is with an EV your brakes do end up making more noise because of lack of use effectively so you'll particularly notice it in the morning when you pull away for the first time because your brake um, discs would have uh, got dirty and corroded overnight particularly if it's damp or it's rained then that first few miles are going to be a bit grindy a bit graunchy exactly the same as they are on any other vehicle it's just that you hear it more obviously with an EV because you don't have the engine noise drowning it out but it's compounded with an EV because you're not using your brakes so much so that um, rusting on the pad and scoring and so forth stays there longer because you don't really um, have a chance to uh, clean them up so if you um, do find that it's getting particularly bad all you've got to do is just use your brakes more um, they're, f they're very good on this car actually you can see they're very smooth very shiny it's only because I do lots of short um, journeys in this car and um, because it's all corners and short stop, stop start driving I am using the brakes a little bit more than I probably would have done if it was a longer drive. If you're at all concerned about noisy brakes just use your brakes more give the car a chance to clean up the discs. Uh, a good way of doing it is to um, 
get up some speed, uh, sort of 50, 60 miles an hour, make sure no one's behind you, of course, and slam the brakes on. Don't do a, a complete emergency stop, but go from sort of 60 down to 10 or 20 miles an hour very quickly and repeat that, do it a few times. And that um, puts some uh, pressure on the pads, gives it a chance to give it a good clean up, and that will generally clear any rust or muck on the discs and uh, they will feel very much uh, smoother and quieter from that point on. But of course, it's only a short-term fix. The next time it rains or you're not using your car for very long, it's all going to return and you're going to be completely back to square one. That's why I'm doing this video. It's because it is obviously completely normal um, and you're always going to get it. Uh, but of course, uh, you're going to hear it more with an EV. On the plus side, because you're not using your brakes much on an EV because you're using the regen braking effect on the motor, brake pads last an awful lot longer in an EV and if a, an EV is driven efficiently, your brake pads are going to last 100,000 miles or more, whereas if this was a conventional automatic combustion engine vehicle, you'd be changing your pads about every 25,000 miles. You'll also find with uh, EVs is you'll often get an MOT advisory when they go for their test, uh, commenting on the um, brake discs usually being scored or um, uh, a condition alert. But uh, again, it's completely normal. It's just because they don't get used as much as they would if it was a combustion engine car. You'll also find uh, often the noise is worse on the back wheel. So we're looking at the back wheel here. And that is because the back wheels don't get much braking. So if you do apply your brakes, the majority of the braking force is going to be on the front wheels because the weight of the car is on the front. And the back brakes do very little. And consequently, they will always be in worse condition um, and more corroded and noisier. Um, so you'll often find is when you're moving, reversing the car in the morning, the back brakes is where the majority of the noise comes from. You hear lots of grinding noise and it does sound quite horrible, but again, it's completely normal. But a lot of that is because you're going backwards and the wheels are turning a different direction to what they would normally be doing and it's freeing a load of rubbish from the pads. To make matters worse, Modern cars have electronic handbrakes like this on it does and they tend to tighten up the um, pistons quite hard and the back wheels, as you can see here, there's absolutely no freewheeling at all. It's quite stiff, but again, completely normal. I find that with many of the electric vans, they do suffer from um, brake seizing on the back axle, uh, particularly as they get old. And that's again down to um, lack of use because all the braking, if you do use the braking, is going to be on the front wheels and very little on the back, particularly if there's no weight in the back of the van. So I found this affects Kangoo's more, uh, partly because obviously the Kangoo is the older one of the electric vans, but the regen braking is set up much stronger on a Kangoo. So um, if you're driving it properly, you just never touch the brakes. And I've done a video on this um, to show you how to clean up the brakes on a Kangoo. And I found that uh, quite a few of the older ones do have uh, just rusted up rear brakes, purely a lack of use. And effectively, it's like um, dragging your back tires along. It's like driving around with a handbrake. And when they're removed, wire brushed, cleaned up and lubricated and put back together and the pistons freed, um, you'll get another mile to a mile and a half kilowatt hour economy from the vehicle. But that could affect all EVs, uh, particularly on the back brakes. So when an EV is older than sort of six or seven years, then it is worth jacking the back up and just making sure these back wheels do still move freely. As I said, brake design just hasn't changed. And EVs use standard brakes, standard components, the same components they would use on their combustion engine car. However, I do sort of feel they're not really fit for purpose because there's no evolvement here. And with an EV, you've got a another primary source of uh, braking. You're slowing down on the electric motor and you're not using these brakes. And consequently, they're not getting used and they tend to corrode and tend to be worse for that. So, um, you know, the brakes just haven't evolved and maybe they will do in the future, but I've always thought all that's needed is to have a tiny little uh, lever spring in there just to lift the pads off the disc just by a fraction of a millimetre, 0.25 of a mil or something, just to make this spin more freer and to allow the car to free wheel without any rub. And that will make a huge difference to range, particularly on smaller battery EVs, will obviously make them quieter 
and will generally help. Of course, the piston is meant to do that because the piston slides on these sliders, but there's always friction, from, particularly on this side, and there's always rub. Um, but of course, on a normal car, it's not really a problem because you're not worried about economy so much or range, and um, you are using the brakes more, so there's a lot more movement and a lot more cleaning effect. But using the brakes less is great for the environment. Brake dust and tyre particles is going to be the next new big environmental issue and something that has to be addressed. But of course EVs do partly address that because you're not using the brake so much and therefore not producing this micro brake particle pollution. So you can see that yourself because the alloy wheels just do not get dirty and black like they would have done with your previous car. Because brake wear is far less on an EV, EVs are helping to solve yet another pollution issue by producing less brake particle matter. But of course the downside is less braking means the brakes are generally noisier. If you found this video useful do please click that thumbs up button on YouTube because that allows other people to find this channel and maybe you want to subscribe and hit that little bell icon in the corner and then you'll be notified when I upload a new EV video.